Hi guys, welcome to my vlog. This is um, one of my many first <laughs> vlog video, but today is different. I'm gonna go hiking by myself in the mornings. The weather there at the moment is negative one, and the weather forecast said that because of the wind, it's a lot colder than what it actually is. But um, I'm prepared. Hopefully, I'll see some really nice scenery with all the snow and all that stuff on top of the mornings. Um, it's very sunny at the moment, so yeah, wish me luck. We're on the icy road now, 7.6 miles away from Moore Mountain. All right guys, we have arrived in our parking spot and it's just right beside the road. And that's where we're going first. Going up top, the very tip where it's frosty. And then over that mountain and then circle back. Check that out. Wow, amazing. All right, let's start. Oh, it's frosty, baby. Nice and sunny. A bit of clouds. A lot of puddles are frozen right now, which is good. That's mud, baby. But it's ice. Means no mud. <laughs> I am here at the bottom of the mountain in the valley. Um, starting my journey hiking up the morns during the winter check out my view amazing we got a plane coming up right above us i'm so glad this is ice at the same time it's very slippery let's stay away from the wall there's so much water and ice right beside the wall we're going through here more grass. Oh, amazing. There we go. More ice. Ooh. Very, very slippery. And the most funny thing is, I thought I was prepared. I checked around my car. No gloves. I forgot my gloves. No. But we'll just make sure we didn't touch anything once our hands get wet that's when it starts to feel cold check this out see that it's all covered in ice there's no way to get up there you have to go around it and look at this icicles they're all melting the worst time to climb the mountain when it's all muddy look at that look how thick the ice is that's just a strand of the grass but look it literally covered it in ice one piece of grass i know i said not to touch anything but it's just way too cool not to touch it you know check this out how cool is that slip that's amazing see ah. Uh, Let's see if I can get this massive piece of icicle. Oh, it just broke. How about this? Let's try this one. This one's massive. Oh, piece came off. Right. I'm gonna try and go around it. So if I try to follow the wall, there's like spikes over there. Same time, it's all ice. One wrong step, I'm back to where I started with injuries. <laughs> Wish I could keep it for souvenir, but it's gonna melt on the way home. One last look. Alright, time to melt. My gosh, 
I'm running out of breath. I'm near the top, but as you can see, it's very, very steep. It's very, very steep. Plus, I haven't climbed mountains in so long. It's exhausting. It's cool though. Like the reward of this beautiful hiking is the scenery, the view. Let me show you. That's what I'm seeing at the moment. The land is massive. It's so vast. All right, let's do this. I got my selfie stick on. Be very, very careful, guys. But look at the view. It's absolutely amazing. I don't know how many times I've taken a break, but I think I've taken two better breaks for one mountain to climb. I'm just here, sitting on the wall. It's full of ice over there. If I try to sit there, I'm gonna get wet because I'm not sitting down for a few seconds. But I'm like really close to the top and I can actually feel the temperature going down. As you can see, like the bottom of the mountain, you didn't really have that much snow. But as you go up, there's a lot more snow and ice. Actually, I won't even call this snow anymore because the snows are frozen. So they're ice. They're not snowflakes, they're ice. But the view is amazing though. Let me show you. That's my view. Break time's over, time to keep moving. Reach the top and enjoy the view. <laughs> How cool is that though? And it shows you the wind's coming this side. It's all blowing. Look at that. Look at the ice formation in that. It's amazing. And that's not part of the rock. The rock is basically here. It's like pure ice now. Like, I'm higher than that mountain right in front of us because I can see mountains and hills before it. Definitely higher than this one. That's my next challenge there. I reached that top, it means I've reached that top. See this track? It's nice and flat compared to the rest. Normally you get footsteps from people, but this looks like something's been dragged over it. Look at that, it's smooth. It goes way down there, see? You can see it now. You know what I thought of when I saw these trucks? This looks like sled trucks. Somebody went sledding here. And that's actually a really good idea when you're going down way faster. Of course, you won't be able to stop yourself, but if you just go slowly, stop every now and then, you should be fine. I should have brought a sled. I could have just like, slid down back to the part where there's no more snow ice <laughs> oh that's fine we'll leave the problem when we're actually going back down As we go higher and higher, it's getting colder and colder. 
compare this to the other one, the first one we saw. Right? The rock cuts off here and the icicle went as far as like, I don't know, four inches. Check those out. And hell, check out the other side, man. See how smooth the other side is? It's beautiful. It's virgin snow, no one has stepped on it yet. I'll step on it later. Compare it here. It's a mess. Look. Mess. Smooth. Very different. Right there. See, the path is starting to even out. It, didn't, it doesn't feel as steep as earlier. But down there, was really steep now when I'm hiking up it's actually a lot easier See when you're up here, there's not much to do. That was really stupid, don't do that. <laughs> Alright, let's keep moving. Right. I'd say we've reached the top. Seems to up but we'll keep going yeah <laughs> this is amazing oh check this out wow if the snow here was still soft I probably would have done the same look at this somebody had time to make this actually wrong info nobody made this nature made this this ice block this ice nature what's underneath looks to me like man-made you know like the wall over there <sighs> i thought somebody had time to do this i said that because it's freezing here i am so glad it's not foggy past few days here at the top has been filled and covered with fog just pure clouds and it's hard to tell where you're going see once I go over there I probably wouldn't know where to go so the safest way is to be up here is to stick by the wall that's your best indicator during this time the steps they're all ice so you gotta be careful are you guys ready to see the view from up here, there we go. I am on the top of this mountain. Obviously, there's other mountains there that's higher, but just for this mountain, isn't that cool? But look at this. Right. I'm gonna step down on the other side. Right, this side here is obviously not virgin snow anymore, but if you go down there, that's virgin snow. Crazy, isn't it? It looks really soft as well. Check this out. Come on, guys, take in the view. Wow. This is amazing. I can hear voices. Probably somebody from that side is also hiking up to this top. The rest of those valleys are covered in fog clouds. And then 
there's this one thing right there. You can see it. It's like it's shiny. I don't know what that is. Probably a reflection. Nah. Right, we're gonna try and walk towards there just to see what's over there. Ugh. Look, that's pure ice now. Crazy. It's really thick. Right. Probably less than an hour for the sunset. So, well, over there is where the dam is, the frozen lake few minutes back over there is Silent Valley well, we're gonna go back to the steps now enjoy the view from that side and then we're gonna get some snacks chill rest reorganize myself enjoy the peace and quiet I am so tempted to go back down this way I mean this side of the wall because it's virgin snow Meaning, no one has stepped on it. That means it's soft. Yes, every step I take, I will sink. But at least it's not ice where I'm going to slip. Especially if it's very steep going down. I'm going to take this side. But for now, we'll go to that side. Get some snacks. Drink some nice tea. And enjoy the view. Times over. It's time to go down. Check this out. That's really nice, isn't it? Wow. It's beautiful. And the first victim. Look at how deep that is. <laughs> One, two. Oh, it's caving in. That's our hiking halfway done. It's time to go back. Um, temperature is definitely dropping fast. This is fun. <laughs> That's a massive thing. That's like, what, 30, 35 centimeters deep. Watch this. Snow still very soft. It's too soft and very dry. But it's not ice. It's actually too dry that I can't form a snowball. I would have tried making a big ball right on top of the mountain and rolling it down and as it rolls down it gets bigger and bigger try it next time it's a good idea oh my gosh this is beautiful look pure smooth untouched snow <laughs> check this out I am sinking fast. Still very fresh and smooth. A bit of crunch. The temperature, the ice going down. I don't try this stuff. Look, now we've come to the steep part. Or the steeper part of the mountain. Sun's coming down fast. Not virgin snow anymore. <laughs> also, another thing that's really scary as well is some parts of the snow is actually still quite soft. There might be some sharp rocks underneath. So, always have to be careful. You can't see what's underneath this white snow.
There's no more snow, plenty of ice, melting ice, and very steep mountain. So I'm gonna stop my videos here and continue once I get down. All right. So I made it. The car is right there. I was there at the very top. Looks like it's easy to get there, but it's actually not. Because I thought it was easy, but it's not. Really dangerous, slippery. And at one point, especially going down, I was actually going down from that side earlier. That was good until that pole. So I just moved this side because it got super wet on that side. And before the pole, probably like to like a hundred yards i was actually walking on top of the the wall because both sides were just that dangerous wet and icy and i was just like you know what i was just and steep as well yeah there's a lot of cliffs and then i was just like okay you know what i'll just walk on top of the wall it was pretty hard um the first 50 yards because it was just like all small stones stacked up on top of each other and it was somewhere like very wobbly but i made it and then my final 50 yards on top of the wall it was like all big stones so all of them were just very sturdy and sitting really tight in their spaces so that was good all right my final hurdle That was a really good experience. Um, it's been a while since I did that, like climbing the mountain. Um, I haven't actually hiked the mountain in, like while it's snowing and during the winter. Check this out. The car is saying minus three. And when I was at the top, it felt, it actually felt like minus five or six, probably more, but um, yeah, I survived, I didn't actually get injured or anything and um, thankfully so everything's all sweet now I'm gonna rush to pick up my dad I'm gonna pick up my car see you later